Hello then viewers and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. As you saw in Friday's episode, we are taking over the manager of Boa Vista. A team that I've not managed before in a league that I've not managed in before. One that we're going to have to get to grips with pretty quickly, but it's a challenge that I'm very excited to undertake. Without any further ado, let's roll the intro and get stuck into it. <laughs> With this being a new series as well, viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's get this series off to a really good start. As I said then, viewers, welcome to Boa Vista. Here we are. We are in the, the boardroom here. Look at these. Look at the kits. Little checkered kits already. So we have been announced as the Boa Vista manager. So what we're going to have a look at today is we're going to get introduced to the squad. We're going to have a little bit of club history. We'll have a look where we can improve the squad. And you know what? We're going to play the first game of the season as well. So let's get straight into this and let's adjust to life here over in Portugal. I need to start learning the language really, don't I? Hmm. I'm not very good at languages. Here is the club information then, viewers. We are predicted to finish eighth so far this season. We've got a three-star reputation. Our ground is a 30,000 seater. Well, 30,000 capacity. I assume it's an all-seater built in 1910 we've got good training facilities good youth facilities average youth recruitment there's a little bit of silverware here at boa vista and we are ultimately looking at adding to that the premier league they finished 12th last season as i said on friday the aim of this really is to win the portuguese league and then kick on from there the first thing we need to do is win this portuguese premier league hopefully we can build on that 12th place finish from last season though that'd be a really good start I really like the badge as well, and I really like the kit, the checkerboard. It, ooh, you don't see many checkerboards about, an underrated kit. Oh my word, we've got a lot of loans. That is that is the first thing that sticks out to me. That is the first thing that sticks out. We've got, how many loans have we got there? One, two, three. Angel Gomez, is he the one that was at Man U? He's on loan from Lille, does it? We'll have a look at him in a minute, but I think that might be the player that was from Manchester United at once upon a time. The club vision then, develop players using the youth system and play high-tempo pressing football. They are the club culture. The five-year plan, sign young players for development for profit, sign players with a sell for profit. So everything already seems to be about making money here. Work within the wage budget. End of the current season, avoid relegation. Ooh, that sends out quite a big message to start with, doesn't it? Avoid relegation. Meet the fifth round of the Portuguese Cup, grow the club reputation, and then from there, qualify for the... How have we gone from avoiding relegation this season to qualifying for the Europa League at the end of next season? Interesting. Interesting times ahead, viewers. Welcome to the squad. As we know, we've got a lot of lone players. I mean, already standing out, we've got a lone goalkeeper. The age of the age of this squad is very mixed as well. There's all quite a lot of elderly players. I mean, our goalkeeper is either 39 or 25 and he's on loan. Oh, my word. Right back on loan, two centre backs on loan, and left back on loan, defensive three, th three. Why do we need three defensive midfielders on loan? Two attacking players on the left hand side, and and the only striker out and out is on loan as well. Oh my word! I mean that is Gomez. He stands out. We're not paying anything a week for him, though, which is good. We're 5.25 million. He's English. He must be the one from Manchester United. He is. He's, he's played in the Premier League. He's played five games. I'm going to try and utilise him as best we can. The first touch really stands out. Good technique. Really good flair as well. Anticipation's a bit poor, but I think he looks like he could be the key player for us this season. Five foot six. He's a bit light on his feet as well at eight stone 11, but I think he could be a really key player for us. And if he has a good season, as I said, we may look at trying to sign him permanently. Another player on loan then from Lille is Leo Jardim, the goalkeeper. He is probably going to be the number one choice this year, over a 39-year-old. Yeah, Raphael here, the 39-year-old keeper, is probably going to be the backup looking at it. A 39-year-old, we've only got one permanent keeper and he's 39 years of age. That is the first area that we need to improve in going forward. Nathan at right back, I mean, 18 years of age, he doesn't strike me as someone that's got any particular quality. Two-star ability potential, three, maybe four. 
doesn't strike me with a lot of quality. George Silva, good physically, good mentally. He's not a bad player. He's fairly well-rounded. I think he might be a decent backup on loan from Lazio. Two and a half star potential for, maybe even five star. Devonish is on another player on loan, another centre-back again. Physically looks really good. Jumping reach of 16. Only six foot though. Mentally looks okay. Technically looks okay. But again, might be a bit of a backup. Alejandro Gomez, another centre-back slash left-back on loan, two-star ability, 18 years of age. What on earth has happened at Boa Vista for this to happen? Good passing, though. I mean, firstly, that's an interesting haircut. It looks like he's got a little bonnet on his head. But defensive midfield-wise, he's on loan from Boca Juniors, is Sebastian Perez. Three and a half star, he's playing close to his potential at 27 years of age, only five foot nine. But again, he looks a really well-rounded player and probably the most consistent. I mean, he is very well-rounded, actually, when you look at it. 11s, 12s, 14s. He looks like he's going to be a solid, dependable player early on. Chidozi Awazame on loan from Porter. Again, another centre-back slash defensive midfielder. Six foot four is interesting. Good physically, good mentally. Technically, he's okay. Again, don't know if he'll be playing or not. Three star might be a starting centre back. We will have to have a quick look once we've decided on the tactic. But I just wanted to have a look at these loan players to see what we're dealing with and who we could be losing next season. Sure, sure, just, just sure. He's on loan from another player on loan from Lille and Angolan International as well. Three star potential, four maybe even five star. Stamina sixteen, so he's not going to get tired very often. Good, an aggressive player. Again, not costing us anything a week, which is good, but. Maybe a bit of a well-rounded player. I don't know how much he's going to play this season again at the moment. Weird that they've got so many loans. As we know, we've looked at Angel Gomez, and I think he looks probably the best player that we've got on loan. Nuno Santos on loan from Benfica. can play anywhere across that attacking line, which is good to see. Three and a half star potential to be four and a half star. 21, not costing us £1,700 a week. And the only out-and-out -out striker we've got... Oh my word, he's only two stars. Honduran international George Benegu on loan from Honduran side Olympia. I don't think he's going to cut it in this league. 14 finishing composure looks okay, but acceleration of 8 and pace of 10 is woeful. That is an area we need to improve on straight away. And that's the squad then. We will look at some of the other players once we decide on tactic, but it literally looks like it's a 50-50 split between permanent players and loan players here. So we've had a quick look through the squad at them viewers and this looks like the, the reasonable tactic to play. Javi Garcia is another name I recognise. I believe he was at Man City. I mean, he looks a well-rounded player. 33 years of age. Though. He's, he's again disappointing. Another older player. Only on £4,000 a week though. Really good mentally. Technically, he's not bad. Physically, pretty poor. Yeah, he was at Man City. He spent £16.25 million on him, which is quite a big chunk of money. Went to Zenit, ended up in Spain, and has now ended up here, back in Portugal with us. Again, I think his experience might be quite useful this season. And the striking problems could be cured by another Honduran, Al Alberth? Alberth Ellis, who is a 24-year-old striker. Again, interesting haircut. He's gone for the half-and-half -half look. But acceleration 16, pace of 17 means he could cause an absolute nuisance of himself. 13 finishing, 11 composure is good. I think he is the best player that we've got to play up top, up top on his own. And it looks like this is the best team then that would be Leo Jardim in goal, Aloni, left back of Hamanshi, Awazane and Rami in the middle with Cannon on the right, Xavi Garcia and Perez in the centre, Santos on the left, Gustavo Sawa on the right, Gomez is in behind Ellis up top. Like I said, we're going to look and see if we can improve some of those areas, maybe on that left-hand side of midfield, and maybe in the defence is probably where we were a little bit weak whilst trying to find some proper players to cover these loan positions. The squad rules then are minimum of eight players trained by a Portuguese team, minimum of six first-team senior players, no more than 53 players in the squad, and can't have more than 27 players registered over the age of 23. I don't think we'd ever have that many players in the squad, never mind over the age of 23, so we should be okay on that. The one that we're missing at the moment is minimum of six first-team senior players in the squad. We will have to have a look at that in the transfer window. And transfer-wise, then, viewers, we have got a budget of £548,000 with a wage budget of £6,000 left to spend. We will have to scout for <laughs> maybe some more loan signings and free agents as well and see who we can bring into the squad. 
And then we are predicted to finish 10th in the league at the moment. Porto, Benfica, Sporting, Braga are the, the predicted to finish the top four. Probably the best four. Well, it will be the best four teams in the league. But we are predicted to finish 10th. 300 to 1 to win the title here this season. Finance-wise, then, we've got a balance of £1.8 million. As I said, we have got the transfer budget of £548,000. Hopefully, we might be able to bring in one or two players with that little bit of money we've got to just add to the squad and bring some more first-team quality players in. What we'll do is then, viewers, we'll play through pre-season and we will meet back up very shortly for the first game of the season. So we'll get stuck into the transfer window and meet back up for the opening game of the league campaign. Let's just have a quick look who that's going to be against. We couldn't have it much harder. <laughs> we couldn't have it much harder if we tried. We kick off against Sporting Lisbon. So it's going to be a very tough challenge for us. And we'll show how close we actually are to some of the bigger teams in this league. Join me again in a minute and we will play at that Sporting Lisbon game. Just before we get into this first game of the season then against Sporting Lisbon viewers, we have one new signing at the club. And that man is Reese Williams, a 19-year-old Englishman who's come on loan from Liverpool. Will play at centre-back for us. Two and a half star ability. We pay him £2,400 a week until the end of the year. Physically, I think he looks really good. Six foot four, stands out. Heading of 15. Jumping reach as well of 14. I think he looks marking 13 as well and tackling a 13. Looks a really, really good player for us. Age 19 means he hasn't got a lot of experience to his name, but I think he will be a really good addition to the squad. Other than that, that's the only deal we've done due to financial constraints that we've had through the wage budget and the transfer budget. This hasn't really worked out all that well for transfers at the moment. We've got a few things in the pipeline that I'm hoping we'll be able to bring you next episode. I had a little bit more of a look as well into the affiliate clubs here and we do have Lille as a parent affiliate club which is probably the reason why we've got so many players on loan from them. But without any further ado, let's get into starting 11 for the first time as Boa Vista manager and let us see if we can create some new legends, some new stories over here in Portugal. Just before we get into this starting 11, then viewers, pre-season wise, we had a very good pre-season, no losses whatsoever. We tweaked the tactic ever so slightly as well to make it an asymmetrical one in the middle of the park. And that means the starting 11 is Leo Jardimingo, Hamshit left back, Awazim and alongside Reese Williams making his debut with Cannon at right back. Xavi Garcia at defence midfield. To the right of him, just in front is Perez, Sanchez on the left, Gustavo Suar on the right and Gomez is in behind Ellis leading that line. Looking to see what Ellis can do today up top. There's a lot of pressure on Gomez as well, but we're not going to tell him that. Let's get this first team talk done. We've got an injured player on the bench. That's not gone well. We'll bring Proza onto the bench then. And there we go. It, it's worked this time. Ever the professional here at Boa Vista viewers. We're going to pump the fist, tell the boys to show us what they can do and tell them we've got the faith in them to go out there and do it. When I had a look at the general transfers at the club, there have been lots and lots of incomings at the club. Cannot believe how many bodies have come in, but hopefully they've gelled enough throughout pre-season that we can pick up at least a point here today. That is the aim against one of the better teams in this league. Kickoff is here then. We are playing at home today. Good to get... A Good to get underway at home. The first highlight does go to Sporting Lisbon. Oh, my word. <laughs> rattle the post. Sir. Ooh, they rattle that post. We are playing our traditional checkerboard kit today, then, viewers. As well, when I had a look at the club, we have had no scouts. Well, we had no scouts when I joined the club, so we've had to sign two scouts up as well. So it has been a little bit of a transitional summer here at Boa Vista. But like I say, one that I'm excited to see underway. It's a big project that we've got here. We'll drop some early encouragement. Another highlight comes to Sporting Lisbon. But one that I'm very excited to get stuck into. And if we can get a point today, I'll be delighted with that star. As I said, Sporting Lisbon, one of the favourites to win the league. They're one of the top four teams within this division. And we they, these are, this is sort of sets a marker down us to see what level we're at. Ellis looks to bully the defender and he does. Gets in behind, uses his pace and strength. Ellis, oh, that's a weak shot. I thought he was going to put that past the goalkeeper. Then it uses that pace and acceleration he's got, though, to his advantage to try and get the ball past the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, he gives it straight to him. Not a massive deal has happened apart from Sporting hitting that post into the middle. Ellis heads it back into Angel, Go Angel Gomez. Perez, Sauer. Angel Gomez now, Cannon on this right-hand side. What will he do? Looks to get past the full-back, and he does. He's just got back. Oh, he's just lost the ball in a good position. He couldn't get that cross in, unfortunately. Sporting Lisbon now. 
look to break forward. They're playing in all white today. Can we defend this ball? And what we have, but it's gone straight to Sporting. They're in. Paulinho. Oh, he's chipped it over. No, that's not the start that we had in mind. After 41 minutes, a deflected ball found its way to the Sporting Lisbon player. And it's here, just here. Santos gives it straight to Pedro. And the defence just come out. And it's, they're just caught out by Paulinho's running. He lofts it over Leo Jardim in our net. Oh, that's that's frustrating. I mean, Sporting have been the better team here. They've had eight shots, four on target. But it's a disappointing way to concede. A disappointing time to concede as well. We're going to point the finger. Tell the boys we expect, expect to see a much better showing. And they've got a lot more to come. And we know what they have got, what it takes. It is a big, big game. This is really does set down a marker for this season. Early on against one of the better teams. Nuno Santos not having a good game for us. We will bring him off at 60 minutes. Near enough here. Let's bring him off Nuno Santos. He's only getting a 6.1 at the moment. So we'll bring our version of Paulinho on as well. And we'll leave it like that for now and just see if that makes any difference for us. We're going to drop some, we're going to demand a little bit more from these boys. And hopefully that will have a positive impact on the pitch. Sauer's not having a good game. We're going to bring him off. We've not seen a highlight at all in the second half. Sauer's having a really poor game. We'll put Angel Gomez out there and we'll put Nige in behind Ellis to just change that attacking lineup a little bit. We'll bring Javi Garcia off as well for just a single show and see if that those fresh legs as well can help us as we look to break down this sporting team. Pedro, 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 is that his name? Surely we've not just given away a penalty. Surely we've got VR in this league. It's not something that we've come across on the YouTube channel. We have on Twitch. Link down below. Link down below. You know the, you know the rule. And is VR going to give the penalty? To me, it looked like it was outside the area. No penalty. Surely that's a booking. Is that not a booking then for diving? Apparently not. But Santos, oh, he's given the free kick anyway. And oh, there we go. It's cleared away. Mario into Santos on this to Pedro. Pedro Porro. That was the man that got challenged on the outside the area. Not Pedro. Pedro. Santos cuts inside. Wonderful finish from Nuno Santos. And there we are. We're 2-0 down. We've not looked good today. And as I said, this is sort of trying to set an early marker down here at Boa Vista. And it's not gone the best, unfortunately. Hopefully, we can improve. I'm still wondering if this tactic is maybe taking the boys a little bit of time to get used to with it being an asymmetrical one. But we just need to improve a little bit. I mean, Porto, the team that you would expect to be walking away with this division, are currently losing to Neil Williams into Yusufa. Looks to clear it down to that right. And that's a really, really pog decision that he's just made there gives the ball away Perez now into Yusufa gives the ball over to Paulinho on the left hand side Paulinho oh he's hit the post he's hit the post the first goal of the Boa Vista era hasn't come there unfortunately I don't know if we can make any more changes I think we can at this stage are we allowed to we're allowed to so we'll bring Bergushi on as well up top instead of Ellis He's looking tired. Yusufa into Paulino, the man that's just hit the post, looking to break it forward. Three minutes of this game to go. He's gone all the way. Somehow shows picked up the ball. I mean, he's just stuck his foot on it and giving it away first time. Take your time with it. Awazim looks to get it up. Oh, and Ellis is in. And Ellis with the good finish there. And there it is. There is the first goal of the Boa Vista reign. Albert Ellis with a lovely finish. The ball's dropped over his shoulder there from Awazim. There we go, look at that, but just bounced nicely from him outside the area and he smashes that ball home and... Ah, oh, it's been... It was ruled offside. I look like a bit of a fool. Well, I thought we lost 2-1. We haven't, we lost 2-0. <laughs> well, that's not gone well. We're going to point the finger, tell the boys we're not happy out there. That wasn't a good performance at all and I'm very disappointed with that really. And then that sees us go into those relegation playoff places. Fingers crossed that is somewhere we will not be for most of this season. What we'll do is then, viewers, we will meet back up for the Porto game. We'll get stuck into this season a little bit more. And then we'll set the stall out nice and early against another another tough team, the, the favourites for the league, and see if we can improve against them from what we have just displayed against Sporting. With it being the first episode of the series, views, please don't forget to smash the like button for me, share the video around, and subscribe to the channel for more content. They mean so, so much on a first video. 
Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again for more next time.